YouTube, what is up? Thought I'd give you a little update. So, right after I made the video on my uh, toolkit, we went up riding, it was a really fun ride, but I, I blew the belt, which is hilarious. I haven't had any problems really up to this point. Um, and then, you know, we went up for, for a fun ride. It was mixed traction, um, and I was being kind of hard on it, to be honest, kind of hard on the belt. And it was probably getting hot and I didn't realize it, but uh, <clears throat> I did blow the belt. So this video will just kind of show you me using the toolkit. I'm gonna add a couple little tools. I'll kind of update you at the end, but I should have, I should have had one of these babies. Um, I need to get one on my new one so I could see the temp, but the belt had 800, 800, 800 miles on it and some good miles. I mean, I've used my machine thoroughly. I'm also gonna go ahead and fix the four-seater today. I'll update you guys on the damage and just what I had to do to fix it. But but yeah, so enjoy the video. I'll kind of give you a tool update at the end. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks. See you. I smelt it a little bit back there. That's funny. That's the first time I've had trouble. I, I, I felt it a little bit. I think, I think with this mixed traction, it's pretty hard on the belt. Yeah, I'm sure this stuff is hard. Well, guess we get a little, see if I have the right tools. <laughs> well, if I need to get mine out, join forces. I assume you got a belt? Yeah. yeah. I've got a belt for my XDS. It's not as robust as they put in the XRS, but it should still fit. So I keep that in my spare. Yeah. You have a belt. Yeah, I felt it kind of back there kind of doing something and then you could smell it a little yeah we've I mean, got a good amount of miles on this belt so it doesn't know me any favors well at least we still got some sun too bad you didn't do it sunny side yeah huh. seriously <laughs> Well, so that'd be the first time I've actually seen one replaced. I haven't done it either. <laughs> so, you were hoping to get some uh, expertise for me, then uh, we better find somebody else. I, I've seen, you know, halfway through, I, somebody had taken the old one off. I mean, it was shredded too. I mean, it had popped out. I don't know how that happened. It must have it must have break in there. I think it's a T30. Yep, good guess. Let's see how long this takes us. I'm thinking that I can get through this pretty quick. And it's a good thing that I did my kit. <laughs> yeah, that's good timing. See how the toolkit does. Let's see. This, we're talking about the new toolkit out here, huh? Oh, got it.
They're gonna give me one of those drills too. That's kind of nice. This Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, dude. Awesome. The Milwaukee is great. That one's gonna be tricky. Well. Oh. Yeah, hopefully this is the right stuff to get this job done, because that was my hope. Um, well, if there's one way to test your toolkit, yeah. this is it. Yeah, let's see if this is the right, the right deal. This one here. There you go. Yeah. See, that without that there. extension, Yep, I got one more down there, two more, Let's see. one, two, two more down there. So those guys probably know it's Taking the scenery while you're doing all that hard work. Yeah. There's an awesome looking machine right there. <laughs> It's hard to beat uh, riding in January in Utah. Now that we have some snow, finally. Yeah, you're gonna need a bath too at some point. Brushless. 60 bucks really on Amazon or? Milwaukee dude, it's Milwaukee. badass. It doesn't come with a battery, I already had another set, but dude, this thing, it'll bust off a lug, it'll take off the belt, it's the freaking bomb. Nice. So. Well, oh, you still gotta get, do we the, have, what do we got? get the air off. What the shredded belt looks like. Yeah, I got it pretty good. <laughs> oh shoot, hopefully everything's all right. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I got some duct tape, we'll wrap around there, it'll be good. Yeah. All right, guys. So this thing kicked ass. Um, only took us about, I mean, honestly, we've been kind of hanging out, but probably only like 10 minutes. I got the new belt on there, ready to go. We're gonna buzz the cover back on and uh, we'll be on our way. That's 800 miles of hard riding. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. That was not easy on this belt, so. It, it doesn't owe me any favors, but yeah, we'll be back on the trail in no time. But anyways, first little, I, it's hilarious that the first day that I bring my toolkit with me, this happens. So if I didn't have it, I'd probably be pissed right now. I'd be towing you down. The yeah, way. yeah, I'd be getting a ride in, in uh, Chris's machine. We'd be go getting some tools probably. But the stock toolkit, I guess, I guess you can do it, but it would just be, hell it would take so long It'd take a while to do it. so get one of these they're the bomb thanks for watching my uh my blown belt video if i just go ahead and update you i'm gonna do a couple more things in the toolkit um i'm gonna get a just a decent kind of camp knife um a lighter some toilet paper everybody suggested toilet paper so decent decent camp knife a lighter uh what else was there oh and a flashlight and then also there was one tool. So this has a T30, um, a T30 Torx and a long one, but in the short one, which I actually had to use the short one to get into a couple of the screws on the clutch, it only came with a T27. So it's like two bucks for another, another T30. I'm gonna go ahead and get that T30 and put it in this kit. But this kit, it's kind of hard to find the perfect kit it seems like some have some stuff, but don't have other stuff. This thing worked awesome. I was glad to have the extensions um, and all these, but, and the T27 did work, but I just don't want to strip something out. So I'm going to get a T30 and just add to this kit. And then I think this kit is perfect. You've got all your screwdriver stuff, um, which you can use your screwdriver to undo the uh, clamp on the intake hose for the clutch. So I had everything that I needed with my kit. I just, I would like another t smaller T30 to get into those tight spots. Besides that, it worked awesome as you saw. It saved me a ton of time. 
I was really happy that I had it. It was pretty ironic that it happened on me um, on that ride, but it did. And I, like I said, I, I kind of knew it was going to happen at some point. So it was really cool to, to be able to just fix it quickly and get back on the trail. It wasn't too big of a deal. And I do want to get that uh, belt temperature gauge. I think those are nice to have. Um, I've had one on my four seater and knock on wood, we have not blown any belts on the four seater. But I mean, this guy's been pre-running in Baja and done all kinds of things. I mean, it owes me no favors. I, 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 I'm hard on that belt. So anyways, guys, again, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more content. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate it as always. Later.